welcome to Power Life Bar. My name is Chloe. I'll be taking you through a 45 minute bar workout today with my lovely mama Lori. She'll be demoing for you guys. Um, my Johnson peeps, you know, we're like the dynamic duo in bar class, so I'm sure you're excited to see both of us here. Um, go ahead and grab a set of weights, whatever you have. Leave some space for yourself to set up your mats. Um, and whatever you can hold on to for a bar, whether it's a chair, we're using a ladder, um, and we're just in a spare bedroom that is being painted. So literally you can go anywhere and everywhere to do this class. So yeah, go ahead and find the playlist. It'll be linked down below. Or if you just want to look on the Power Life Spotify, it'll be under Chloe C Bar. I definitely recommend you grab onto it. I'll be listening to it throughout class. Um, definitely makes things a little more fun and I like to reference through it and I'll probably dance and teach the beat a little bit too. So yes, with that being said, go ahead and find child's pose. Bring your big toes in to touch. Arms can stretch out nice and long. And take an inhale here through your nose. Exhale, sigh it out. If you haven't started your playlist yet, go ahead and get started. Pause if you need to. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it go. On your next inhale, press yourself up to a tabletop. Create a flat back, shoulders are stacked directly over your wrists, heels on top of your toes. There you go, breathe here. And find cat cows, inhale to drop your belly, gaze lifts, cow pose. And exhale, round through your spine, eyes to thighs for cat pose. On your own here, take breath to movement. Just as important it is for you guys to warm up your joints and your muscles, it's just as important to warm up your breath. Taking the time here to really focus on breath to movement is going to carry you throughout the rest of your class today. Yes, there you go. One more full expression. Inhale into cow and exhale into cat. When you are ready, meet me in a neutral spine. Back through tabletop, we'll find spinal balance. Left leg and right arm reach out long here and just hold for a moment. There you go, just hold here. We'll add movement in three. Last two, last one little one inch lower and lift. Inhale as you lower one inch. Exhale to lift one inch. Lower and lift, there you go. Toes are pointed down towards your mat. Notice how I tucked my toes on my opposite side. You can either have flat toes. I feel a little more stable when I tuck them under. There you go, lift. And lower, now find a micro bend in your left elbow to protect your joints. Great job, there you go. You'll get it from both angles here. So the front angle and me from the side. There you go. Keep it up, slow and controlled is the name of the game here in bar class. Yes, you can. Give me five more seconds. We'll pulse at the top in four. Last three, two, last one. Hold at the top, pulse it up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. There you go. Take the bounce out of it here. Make it nice and slow and controlled. Just a little bit faster than you're lifting lower. Last five, knee to elbow in four, three, two, last one. Inhale back to kind of balance. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale to squeeze out. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, press. Exhale, crunch. Yes, there you go. Again, keep your fingers and your foot spread out wide. Toes point down towards your mat, so flex towards your mat. There you go. Now I want you to focus on using your core to squeeze you in. It's really easy to forget about your core here and just let your leg and your arm do the movement, but really focus in on your core to squeeze you in. There you go. Check in with your tabletop. Make sure you are still centered. There you go. Last three. Last two. Last one. Inhale, spinal balance. Exhale, tabletop. Other side this time. Left arm, right leg lifts up high, if I can even remember what that is, for spinal balance, hold here for just a few seconds. We'll add movement in three, last two, last one, one inch lower and lift, inhale as you lower down one inch, exhale to lift one inch, inhale lower, exhale lift, yes, there you go, off on your own again. Yes, you can, point your toes down toward your mat, and let your toes just barely hover. Squeeze your glute to let your leg lift up one inch. Just a tiny pulse of your glute is going to keep you at that one inch mid-range instead of going way up and down. 
There you go, flex through your hand. Yes, you can. Give me five more seconds here. We'll pulse at the top in four. Last three, two, one, hold it up, pulse it out, pulse, 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 there it is. Come on, last five seconds. We go to knee to elbow in four. Last three, two, last one, knee to elbow, inhale to extend. Exhale, press and squeeze in. Inhale as you extend. Exhale to crunch it in. There you go. Now your knee and your elbow don't actually have to touch. That's just for a visual here. Totally okay if they don't touch. As long as you are feeling the activation in your core, whatever that may be. We're literally like right on top of each other. Out. Press in. Out. Press in. Yes, there it is. Come on. Ten seconds. We'll get up on our feet so soon. I know you're ready. Last five, four, three, two. Last one, inhale, spinal balance. Exhale, tabletop. Walk your hands a few inches in front of your face. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up nice and high. Press into the L shape of your hands. Yeah, relax your shoulders away from your ears. Hug up through your core and your quads to lift you that much higher. Any organic movement, if you want to pedal it out here, take what you need, whatever feels good to get your body ready. Take a big inhale through your nose. And exhale to find stillness. On your next inhale, we'll find down dog push-ups. Lower, hover your head about an inch or two off the ground. And exhale to press back up. Inhale to hover. Exhale, press. Yes, there you go, on your own. Lori has a great option. Instead of taking it from down dog, she's dropped to her knees and just taking regular push-ups. There you go, there you go. Make sure to activate your triceps, so actually keep your elbows pressed in. So instead of bringing them out wide, press them in so you're working through your triceps. Yes, same thing with you and your down dog push-ups. Again, I'll show you what that looks like again. So I'm in down dog, lower my head down, and lift back up. My elbows are still glued in. There you go. Yes, you can. I know you're ready to get up. Give me five more seconds. Last four, three, two. Last one, meet me back in down dog. Take a quick second, catch your breath. Inhale to bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk your hands to your feet. I know about half of you just got as excited as she did and did the wrong thing. That's fine, just listen to directions. Inhale to halfway lift. Press into something, whether that be your shins, your calves, Whatever it is, that's the same thing, your shins and your calves, pretty much. Or your glutes, your glutes, I can't speak. Your quads, there you go, people. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, mountain pose, breathe here. Relax your shoulders down your back, pinkies turn in slightly towards one another. Here you go, squeeze in to your legs to lift your kneecaps up. Exhale, mini back bend. Goal post your arms, shine your heart. Inhale, back through mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Grab onto one of your weights and roll up slowly. Right side body will come to your bar, your chair, whatever it is. I'll show you my side view. You just hold on like that. Lori will show you the back view. I've got you from the side. First position, heels are in, toes are out. Releve, come up onto your tippy toes. Plie with a bicep curl. Inhale as you lower, plie down. Exhale to lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Lower. And lift. Now key here is to keep a flat back. Avoid sticking your booty out and your back out forward. Hug up into your core to tuck everything in. Lower. And lift. Now with your bicep. Just bring it three-fourths the way down and three-fourths the way up to keep the activation in your bicep. There you go. Lower down. And lift. Now your heels are stuck together like I put super glue on them. The harder you press into your heels, the more inner thigh activation you're going to get here. There you go. Lower. And lift. Lori has a great demo over here. The slow and controlled motion is perfect. We want this as slow as possible. I know in bar class you guys are so sick of us telling you to take it slow, but that is the beauty of it. The slower you go, the more you get. There you go. Notice how her heels are pressed together. There you go. Keep it up. 
Give me five more seconds. We'll hold low and pulse in four. Last three, two, last one. Hold it low, tiny pulse up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. There you go, yes, little lift. Lift, lift, come on, come on. Last five, we hold it low, I know, in four, three, two, and one. Hold it low, knee flutters with a low rotator. Inhale as you fly everything open. Exhale to squeeze your inner thighs and your arm together and close. Inhale to flutter. Exhale, bend. Inhale, flutter. Exhale to bend and close. There you go. Yes, you can right here. Flutter and close. There you go. Keep your elbow pressed into your side body so you keep the activation in your arm muscles. If you hear the crying dog, it's because we're being mean parents and not letting him in here while we do this. There you go. Keep it up right here. Notice the pinch in her back when she comes back on her low rotator. She's pausing and she's pinching. That's perfect. Keep it up right here. Yes, you can. Embrace my word vomit. I'm really vomiting over my words right now. There you go. Five more seconds. We go back to our plie with a bicep curl. Your biceps are going to be on fire after this in three. Last two. Last one. Get back to it. Plie. Bicep curl. Plie. Bicep curl. I know a lot of the times in my classes, I'm like, oh, my biceps aren't really sore yet. That's because we're going to keep burning them out here so you can actually feel your biceps getting nice and sore. Yes, there you go. Lower. And lift. Now lift up through your releve. Get on your tippy toes like you have the highest pair of stilettos. Great adjustment, Mama. Yeah, there it is. There it is. I know I can't actually see you, but I know you're rocking. Yes, you can. Give me five more seconds. Weight will come to heart center in four. Last three. Two. Last one. Bring your weight into heart center. We'll find plie to a curtsy lunge. Extend your arm. Inhale to come together. Plie. Exhale. Extend your arm. Curtsy lunge. Plie. To curtsy. Plie. To curtsy. Yes. Your right leg is coming back behind you. Left leg is staying stable. There you go. Option to take the arm movement out. You can just keep your weight at heart center, but if you want to get a little bit extra, extend it out into your curtsy lunge. There you go. Plie to curtsy lunge. Curtsy away from your chair. There you go. Last five. Give me four. We'll hold our curtsy lunge. In three, two, last one. Hold your curtsy lunge low. Find a lateral raise. Inhale as you lower. Exhale, lift. Lower and lift. Yes, stay nice and low through your legs. I know you want to shake them out, but you will get the opportunity to so soon, I promise. Lower and lift. Now bring your arm up to shoulder height and shoulder height only. No higher here. Yes, there you go. Lower with control and lift with control. There you go. Don't let the momentum of the weight take over you here. Yes, you can. Lift and lower. Now, can you sink one inch lower in your legs? You came here for a booty, leg, arm, full body burn. So take advantage here. Yes, you can. Last five seconds. Come on. Last four. Three. We stay with our legs low in two. Last one. Arm out to the side. Bend to 90 degrees for a pec deck with a demi plie. Inhale to lower ever so slightly. Exhale to lift ever so slightly. Pec deck. Inhale to lower slightly. Exhale, lift slightly. Lower slightly and lift slightly. Now use your pec muscle to drive your elbow forward. Weight is again still at shoulder height. Arms at 90 degrees. Pec muscle. Squeeze your elbow in. Pecs and squeeze. There you go. Yes, now it's a demi-plie. You have the option to take it full on, but you'll get that after this. So keep the small movement. Just bend a little, lift a little. Bend a little, lift a little. There you go. Come on, I know you want to straighten your legs, but you will right after this. So stay in it. Yes, come on, come on. Last five seconds. Are you ready to straighten your legs? I am. Oh yeah, okay. I know you guys at home are too. Last four. Three, two, last one, hold it low, bend low, exhale, press, shoulder press, 
Inhale, curtsy lunge. Exhale, shoulder press. Lower and lift. Yes, there it is. Lower and lift. Come on, you got this there at home. Yes, you can. You get to shake it out after this. So take advantage of the muscle work. Yes, you can. Bend and extend. Arm comes down to shoulder height again. Stay disciplined to keep it there and press up strong from there. There you go. Come on, come on. I know your quads are starting to scream at you. Give woo! me five more. Yeah, get a little woo going at home. I know it's super awkward to woo at home, but just do it. Last three. Last two. Last one. Ditch your weight. We'll find Sean's mod jumps. So jump forward, back, forward, back. Notice my feet in and out. Yes, like a little crisscross action. Lori's got a great option to take just some squat pulses here. On my ballet people or people that speak French, go ahead and let me know in the comments how bad I just butchered that at Rachel B. Thank you. There you go. Keep it up. I'll do the jumps for you here. Yes. Come on. Yes, you can. Only 10 seconds. Burn it out here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Give your camera a high five. If you've got a buddy, a dog, give him a high five. And turn towards your chair, your ladder, whatever you have. We'll find warrior three. Left leg lifts up high. Find a full extension. Inhale to lower all the way down. Exhale to lift up. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. Now you can point or flex through your toes here. Whatever you feel more comfortable with. Yes, there you go. Lift and lower. Now find a micro bend in your right standing leg to protect your joints. There you go. Yes, Lori's got the option of flexing her foot. That's what I prefer to do. It makes me feel a little bit stronger and more like sucked in through my hamstrings. So take that option if you need. I am out of breath. Oh my gosh. Keep it up. There you go. Now find a flat back. Yes, you can. So good. Lower. And lift. Take it nice and slow like you have the red band around your feet right now. And you can barely lift and lower. There you go. Yes, slightly tap your foot down to the earth and lift it back up. We'll hold it at the top in five. Last four. Give me three, two, and one. Hold it at the top. Little pulse. 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 Come on. Pulse. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Yes, you can. Come on, give me five, four. Leg stays at the top in two. Last one, hamstring curl. Inhale to bend your knee. Exhale, press. Inhale, bend and curl. Exhale, press. Curl and press. Now, if you need to shake it out, if you need a second, take a minute, shake it out and get right back into it. Never feel ashamed of having to take a second to shake it out. That just shows that you have worked yourself to the point of such fatigue. That's where your body is changing. So stay with it. Take a quick break and get right back in here with us. Come on, come on, I love this song that's playing. You won't know if you don't have the playlist, so this is an extra reminder if you don't have the playlist on, go get it. There you go, bend and press, come on. We'll combo it out in three. Last two, last one, inhale to press. Lower down, lift, hamstring curl, press, lower, lift, and bend, press, lower, lift, and bend. You hear my dog, I'm so sorry. We might just let him in so he just stops crying. Yep, we're gonna let him in so he stops crying. Come on, Cody. This is Cody, everybody. Welcome, Cody. There you go. Bend. Press. Shh, something obnoxious. There you go. Last five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Get off of your bar. Find fast feet. Shake it out really quick. Grab your dog and shake it out. Come on. Come on. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. This is a cardio burst that's friendly on the joints and gets your heart rate up. Option literally just to tap it out and take it slow if you need. <laughs> yes, come on. Five seconds, y'all. We're already ready to hit side two. Come on. For four, three, two. Last one. Give a little high five. Give your dog some love. And come back to your ladder or your 
chair or your wall, whatever you got. This time, left leg plants, right leg lifts, toe taps, inhale to lower all the way down. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. There we go. Come on, same thing here. Squeeze your glutes at the top, maybe even find that pause. Lift and hold, then lower down. Notice how slow she's moving. Literally looks like she's moving through pudding or like tropical water or something cool. So take it nice and slow. The slower you go, the more of a burnout you're gonna get. Come on. Now don't forget to smile. You guys know my favorite statistic, I say in every class, that it's like scientifically proven that you burn up more energy frowning than you do by smiling. So drop the frown and smile if you're getting tired. That means you're just not smiling enough. It's not because you're out of shape or anything. You just need to smile. Guaranteed. Come on. I think Einstein said it. I don't know. But it's a fact. There you go. Lift. And lower. Give me five more seconds. Again, nice micro bend through your left leg. For four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it at the top. Little pulse. 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 Come on. Five seconds. Yes, you can. Last four, three, two, one. Hold it here, hamstring curl. Inhale to bend, exhale, press and extend. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Bend and extend. There you go, off on your own here. Yes, you can. Now don't forget about your breath. If you've lost it through class, find it here. This is like low impact. So inhale as you bend, exhale to extend. Find that breath, get it back. There you go. Bend and press. Bend and press. Come on. Yes, you can. We'll combo it out in three. Last two. Last one. Inhale to press. Lower down. Lift. Bend. Extend. Lower. Lift. Bend and extend. There you go. Now check in with your hips. Make sure they're squared to your wall, your chair, whatever you are using. When I'm doing this in my own practice, sometimes I'll even grab onto my hips and just see where I'm at. Especially if you're at home, you don't have the teacher there to help you out to make sure. Just press your hands onto your hips and just feel if you feel a little curved this way and just bring them back in. There you go. Another way to make sure your hips will stay squared is if you activate your core. That's why you guys know I always start with core work in my classes so it can carry you through the remainder of your practice. So hug in, squeeze your core. There you go. Come on, last five seconds. Last four, three, two, and one. Spin open now so your left side body is to your bar. Capture your weight. Left side body to the bar. We'll come back to first position, plie with a bicep curl. Inhale to plie, exhale, lift and curl. Inhale, plie, exhale, curl. Now your toes are in releve, so that means your heels are lifted but keep your heels glued together. Again, like I said before, the harder you press your heels together, the more you will burn out through your inner thighs. There you go, lower and lift. Yes, lower and lift. As you plie, create a diamond shape between your legs and pretend like you almost have a corset or a zipper in the middle of your legs and you zip it as you come up to the top. There you go, come on. So strong, so strong. You guys, second side, best side, you can do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, the dog's funny. Last time, woohoo, last four. Come on, last three, two, last one. Hold it low, pulse it up, pulse, pulse, pulse. Yes, let the sweat drip. Let yourself shake right here. No shame in shaking, come on. Come on, you got this, last three. Hold low in two. Last one, hold it low. Knee flutters with a row, low, low rotator. Inhale to open. Exhale to squeeze everything in. Inhale, open. Exhale to squeeze. Yes, there it is. Inhale and exhale. Yes, so good, you guys. Come on. Come on, yes, you can. You are almost there. Stay with me. Yes. <laughs> he looks so creepy. Give me five more seconds here. We go back to our full extension in four. Last three, 
two. Last one, back to your plie with a bicep curl. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Again, where's your breath? Inhale on every lower. Exhale on every lift. Now put a smile on your face because you're happy to be here. We're happy that Power Life will open up soon and we'll see each other in person. So exciting. I am so excited to see all you guys. Yeah, keep it up. Keep it up. There you go. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Come on. Last five seconds. Yes, you can. Last four. Three. Two. Last one. Plie lower down. Weight comes to heart center this time. Left leg comes out. Curtsy lunge to first position. Sorry. Curtsy arm extends. First position. Arm comes to heart center. Curtsy and bend. There you go. Now, if you got a little confused on your legs on the last side, that's totally fine. Just do whatever leg you didn't hit. Trust me, you'll know. You'll feel it. There you go. Come on. I'm blocking the view. Yes, you can. So good. Notice how instead of just like a normal lunge, she's going out and to the side, lowering down. Bring your back knee to a hover. Yes, you can. You are strong. You can do this. Come on, y'all. This is like your last bit of standing work. Let's get excited. You are almost done. Last Woo! five. Woo, that scared me. Last four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold your curtsy lunge down low. Lateral raise. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Lower and lift. Now notice just like in first position, my back is straight up and down. I'm not hunching forward and I'm not hunching back. Squeeze your core to keep yourself straight and lift and lower. There you go. Now you guys know I didn't mention it previously, but you know the option to ditch your weight is always there for you. Come on. Yes, you can. Stick with it. Stick with it. Maybe even release your grip on your bar just a little bit. Chest your balance. Yeah, there it is. Whoo, come on. Last five seconds. We'll do a demi lunge with a pack deck in three, two, last one. Demi lunge here. Inhale to lower slightly. Exhale to lift slightly. Bring your elbow in. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze in. Lower, squeeze in. Yes, there you go. Now, arm is still at shoulder height. Keep it up there. Yes, lower. And press in. Lower. Press in. Come on. Yes, you can, you guys. Stay low in your legs. You know you will straighten them out after this. And this is like your last bit of leg work. So stay in it here. Yeah, there it is. Come on. Ten more seconds. Last five. Give me four, three, two, last one. Inhale, everything lowers. Exhale, lift and press. Shoulder press. Lower and press. There you go. Come on, you guys. Yes, you can. Bend and press. Come on. Stay in it with me. Press and bend. Press and bend. Yes, you can. Come on, 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds, and you are done with your curtsy lunge for the rest of the day. Yeah, there you are. Last five, come on. One more cardio burst coming at you in four. Last three, two, and one. Get your weight right down in front of you. Find high knees, get your knees up. Great option to take it slow and just do knee drives. Also love the option for cross knee drives as well. Whatever it is you need. If you need a little more, crank it up. If you're going with the high knees, either pump your arms to your side for a little more cardio or lift your arms up overhead for a little bit more core. Yes, you can. Come on, 10 seconds. We got a little bit of tricep work and some core and you guys are on your stinking way. Come on. Last five. Crank it out for four, three, two, last one. Nice job, you guys. Grab onto both of your weights here for me. We'll meet in chair pose. Feet can be about hip distance or a little wider if you want. Whatever feels good for you. Lower down into your chair. We'll start with a narrow row. Inhale to stay. Exhale, lift and press. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Lower and lift. Yes, there you go. Lower and lift. 
There you go. Notice how my torso is a little bit forward. I'm not straight up and down like we usually are. I'm leaning a bit forward with an airplane torso. Yes, there we go. Lower and lift. Lower, lift. There you go. Stay in it right here. Yes, keep your elbows as tight to your side body as you can. Your weights will graze your rib cage. Come on. Stay in it. Stay strong. Give me five more seconds. Legs stay low the whole time here for four, three, two. Last one. Bring your weights back up. Tricep kick back. Inhale to bend. Exhale, extend. Bend and extend. Notice how I'm not bringing my weights all the way up to my armpits. I'm keeping them at about pocket level and pressing out from there. So pocket level and press. Your triceps are a bit of a smaller muscle. So if you give them more extension, they're going to call upon your biceps, your lats, whatever they need to help them out. But we're not going to let them. We're going to isolate them here. So shorten your range of motion. Yes, there you go. Give me five more seconds. Triceps burn out fast. Last four, three, two. Pulse it up. Last one. Little pulse, 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 pulse. Come on, five, four. Last thing. Three, two, one. Hold them here. Clap them in. Yes, this works into your back muscles as well as your triceps. Come on. For five, four, three, two. And one, ditch your weights in front of you, mountain pose. Inhale, squeeze up. Whew. Exhale, chair, airplane arms, just to slow your heart rate down. Inhale, back through mountain. Exhale, chair, airplane. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. You guys didn't think you were getting out of my class without a high plank, did ya? Because we're in it. We're in it here. Don't worry. It's just a high plank hold. No funny business here. Hold it for 10 seconds. Your shoulders are stacked directly over your wrists, just like they are in tabletop. Heels are on over your toes. Yes, look out in front of you. Last three, two, last one. Lower yourself all the way down. And flip yourself over like a little pancake. So you will be on your booty. We'll start low with penguin taps. Lower yourself all the way down. Reach side to side. So you're here. Lower down. Reach the side. And side. Side. To side. Yes, there you go. Try and keep your low back glued to your mat. Yes, now the further out that you place your legs, the more you're going to feel it. If you have really long arms, I recommend bringing your legs out a little further. If you've got short, stubby arms like I do, you'll have, we'll work with whatever you got. There you go. Come on. Yes. If you have a dog bothering you, leave a comment below. I'm getting attacked. Okay. Bad. <laughs> he hates me. Come on. Yes, you can. Last five seconds. Stay in it for four, three, two, last one. Come all the way up for boat pose. Couple options in boat here. You can leave your heels on the ground or you can lift them up. I like to have my arms extended long in front of me. We'll find high and low boat. Inhale to lower, exhale, lift up, high boat. Low boat and high boat. There you go, lower and lift. Yes, Lori's got the great demo with her heels on the earth. Again, her arms are out nice and long. You can always bring them to heart center if that better serves you. I really prefer to keep mine out long, though. There you go. Now, remember to keep space between your chin and your chest as you're working through core. Yes, there you go. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Ten more seconds. Yes, you can. Last five. Come on. Last four. Three. Two and one. Now everybody will need to lift their heels up here. We'll find hollow rocks. So rock yourself back and forward. Rock back and forward. Yes, there you go. You'll feel your core light up super quick with these. Yes, I'm getting the stink eye from mama. There you go. Rock back and forth. Yes, you can. Come on. 
Come on, come on. A little break from boat pose, even though it feels just as bad or if not worse than boat pose. Worse. But you get worse, okay? It's worse. Come on, come on. Give me five more seconds. We'll meet back in boat pose in four, three, two, and one. Back to boat pose. Bring your hands to heart center. Boat with rows. Inhale to stay. Exhale off to your right. Inhale center. Exhale left. Inhale center. Exhale right. Inhale center, exhale left. Now Rachel B gives a really great tip with these ones. She keeps her thumbs pressed into her sternum. It does shorten your range of motion, but it really makes you activate into your core that much more. Yes, there you go. Again, the same option with your feet. You can either have them planted or you can have them lifted up. Right, center, left. Center, focus more on the rotation of your core rather than your elbows. They're just there to help guide you a little bit. Come on, you guys are so close to being done. We'll pulse to the right in three. Last two, last one, pulse it to the right, pulse, 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 pulse. Yes, come on, come on, last five, four, three, two, one to the left. Come on, you can do this. Get after it right here, y'all. This is it. This is your last little bit of core work. You have plenty of time to cool down after this. Yeah, come on, come on. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Start to slow your breath down. A little bit shorter than 45 minutes, but I'm sure you guys don't mind. There you go, get some dog kisses while you're at it. When you are ready, place your right ankle over your left knee for supine figure four. Breathe here, a couple options. You can lift your left foot off of the earth. If that feels better for you, you can grab through the keyhole, the space made between your legs. Whatever options you do take here, though, I want you to keep a flexed foot. Eyes can start to soften or close if that feels good for you. On your next inhale, unwind your legs. Squeeze them in through center to unwind and to reset your body. Take an inhale. Exhale off to the opposite side, right ankle over left knee, left knee over right ankle. I don't even know. Left and rights are very hard. You guys know, you know your body. There you go, same thing here. And start to let go of any of those thoughts that are starting to creep back into your mind. I know it's really hard for me when I have a moment of silence and stillness, especially in your own house. You kind of just let all the thoughts of what's going on in the world, what you have to do, more spring cleaning that you're probably sick of, but I just want you to let that go here on your mats right now and know that whatever thoughts, if they are important enough, they will come back to you after class. So keep this time for you. Inhale, bring your knees back in through center, reset your spine, and exhale, let them fall off to your right side. Supine twist. Keep your shoulder blades on the ground to ensure that this twist stays in your thoracic spine rather than your lumbar. And stack your hip one on top of the other. If you wanna deepen this twist a little bit, you can look off to the opposite side. Whatever feels good for you. But keep up with your breath. Be intentional with every inhale through your nose and let the exhales be audible. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> On your next inhale, bring your knees back through heart center. Give them another squeezy squeeze and exhale off to the opposite side. Again, same thing here. Keep your shoulders on your mat and stack your hips from one on top of the other. Stay intentional with your breath. Keep your thoughts positive here. Know that life is gonna start to get back to normal here so soon, so be grateful for that. And find whatever else on your mat that brings you gratitude. 
Inhale, bring your knees back in through center. Unwind. And exhale, find happy baby's pose. Grab onto the knife edge of your feet or whatever you can grab onto here. And take whatever movement feels good for you. This is your time to stretch it out. If happy baby just sucks to you, take something else. I don't care. It's up to you. You guys know at this point, I want you to do whatever feels good on your body. This is your workout, your stretching. I'm just here to guide you. There you go. About five more seconds here to get in whatever you want to get in. I have a hair somewhere on my face that I can't find. Last three, two, and one. Inhale, knees come back into your heart space. Give them a big hug, so big that your forehead comes up to meet them. Thank your body for all of its hard work on your mat. And exhale into a well-deserved Shavasana. Go ahead and crank your tunes up a little bit. And know that I will be here to get you out when the moment is right. Eyes can be soft or closed. Whatever feels good for you here. Take a big inhale through your nose, fill up, and exhale, sigh it out. On your next inhale, start to invite some new movement, new life, new energy back into your joints. I like to start at my tippy toes and let that movement travel all the way up my body, my fingers, my wrists, and shake your head yes and no. And on your next inhale, reach your arms up overhead for a long body stretch. Press into the wall behind you if you can reach it, or if you don't want to, just don't. And exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. We will end right on our backs today. Thank you all for joining me virtually, for breathing, for sweating, for moving, and staying motivated with me and keeping me motivated as well. Just know I cannot wait to see you all back in the studio soon, and I hope you all are doing well and staying safe always. The light, the love, the teacher in me honors and sees the light, the love, the student, the teacher, and the power in each and every one of you. To seal in the benefits of our practice and to honor one another, we bow and say namaste. 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 Great work, you guys. So good to have you guys join us today. And like I said, I cannot wait to see you guys soon. And namaste to Cody. Bye, everybody. Bye.